My field is generally Old Testament studies, and um, within that I have certain sub-areas of real interest, and one of them is, is Old Testament theology. Another one is biblical theology, which is sort of the two testaments talking to each other, and how does that work? Um, I, another interest I have is wisdom literature, uh, especially Ecclesiastes. I've always been very interested in Ecclesiastes. Um, and another big issue that I have an interest in is how, how evangelicals can maintain a really strong view of Scripture, but at the same time benefit from things that have happened in, in the modern study of Scripture. There have been some real changes and I think advances in that. Um, and I think that's actually for me a very big area of what's happening now in evangelical biblical scholarship. Um, it, how do we have that, I guess, that conversation between our own evangelical identities and things that, that are really going on in biblical scholarship? Uh, you know, one of those issues is even things like the Dead Sea Scrolls that people have heard of. That affects how we think about things like the text of the Bible, for example. It affects how we think about how Paul might use Isaiah as he's sort of preaching to his people in his letters and he sort of employs uh, biblical concepts and biblical language. An understanding of the background of the New Testament helps with that. Um, uh, related to that is all sorts of things that have been found in the desert archaeologically, uh, whether artifacts like little statues or, or texts um, that really give us a context for understanding things in the Old Testament. Um, those are big discoveries that biblical scholars deal with all the time that uh, people, um, you know, lay people in, in all walks of life, whether they read Time Magazine or Newsweek or the, the History Channel, they are exposed to these things and that, that has created some pressure points between, you know, what does it mean to hold on to our faith and hold on to the Bible in view of these kinds of things. And in my opinion, that's probably, that's the number one issue that I can see in, in not just Old Testament studies, but biblical studies in general, how to work those two things together.